And we're back again. Yes, this is like the fourth attempt we've tried to record this, so be happy for our perseverance, viewer. So yeah, welcome to part seven of our little playthrough. And we're still in the hotel. Yep. After four tries. I'm I'm sorry. Uh whew, that's over with. I get a little frustrated. Anyway. Wheelchair. And yeah. a little note that reference to the little side story in this hotel that isn't really of much importance. Mm. <laughs> Cockroaches! Om nom 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 okay, get off, 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 off. <laughs> Is Alex, your looks are the only things that that can keep you sane. Like you'll have lost, well, you'll have lost some sanity from seeing all this stuff going on around you. You'll have lost some dignity from the things you've had to kill. But all you can say is just, well, at least I look quite pretty. It doesn't. <laughs> oh, hello, hello, nurse. nurse. She's in the wrong building for her profession. Oh. Well, I'm just gonna say that uh, Alex doesn't really look that pretty to be in with, so. Yeah, well, I was just making a joke. I wasn't being literal. I'm not a fan mm -hmm. girl. You're not a girl at all, I would hope. <laughs> there may be some things you don't know about me. Okay, I'm gonna walk away now. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. Locked. And there's no clear path Just to cut the, cut the door. You have an you have an axe. Cut it down. Yeah. Apologies to the viewers because there is a lot of running around and getting lost in this recording because I am quite stupid and did not see the way to go in some instances. But don't worry. The first boss fight is coming up, so that should be fun. Hmm. Eight parts into a game. Not bad. This must be one of the uh, memories that she's looking to reclaim. They're postcards. Yay. Small, small windows of better days. I think this one classes as the um the sunlight dancing through the trees. <laughs> I gotta find out that woman's name. She sounds really creepy. Their voice actor. I believe her name is Elizabeth Lambert, if I'm not hmm. mistaken. And she does a good job in this game, you know, she voices more than one character, so... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just like uh, Al Bendiero, who voiced the oh-so-lovable Curtis, and he, will vo and he also voiced Alex's dad, Adam Shepard. And now a cameo of Silent Hill's most beloved resident. So I was waiting for this. <laughs> Pyramid Head! First time I've ever actually seen this guy up close. I don't think you want to be close to him when he has a knife that big. That's not a knife, Grudge. That's called a bastard sword. Okay, a bastard sword. And also you want to stay away because he has a tendency to... rape things. Like, literally. It's not nice. Mm. Uh. Whether in the figurative or the literal sense, raping is bad. And I think he's checking you out, Alex. Be warned. <laughs> Keep your back to the wall. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh. No. You're not you're not pretty enough for a redhead. He gave him the iPod the hypotenuse and he failed the test. And again it was it would be a test I'd like to fail, because then I wouldn't be subjected to rape. But still, the fangirls of Pyramid Head suggest otherwise, so whatever takes your fancy, I guess. That thing has fangirls? Yep. Just like these pup purchase have the ability to blast down a door, get off! And <laughs> gnom on your face! I hate those things. They're more of an annoyance than an actual enemy. Well, they seem to be doing a pretty good job on your health, dude. You're gonna have to take another bottle of Drano here in a minute. I'm dealing with laggy controls due to the way I'm recording this. I have an excuse. Huh. Huh. E is for effort, not excuses, Grudge. I just like the way Alex said the toilet smells like poison. 
Okay, what kind of poison have you ever smelt that smells like shit? <laughs> Not to mention, why were you smelling poison in the first place, you strange person? He's a soldier, maybe he got subjected to a... Uh... Mm, I don't know. But damn, that's a bad camera angle. But we get this. Serum. We want that. So you shoot yourself up. Yeah, basically this is the game's equivalent of smack. Hmm. So, Drano and steroids. Hooray. Always a brilliant combination. But in all seriousness, the serum acts as a way to fully boost your health back to full instead of the multiple health drinks you would have to consume to do that. So it's quite, pretty much something I like to reserve in case I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to die, I need something to live. And I'm pretty sure I'll pro probably use a few by accident because I'm clumsy like that. This kind of reminds me of a, a math test I got once. <laughs> what, you mean the way it was confusing, irritating, and utterly pointless? Actually, I was referring to all the red. <laughs> it just made the paper look like it was bleeding to death. <laughs> well, that's good. If math is bleeding to death, that's what it should do. Hmm. I think, no, I'm not gonna go there. Math sucks. I don't want it in my head. And this is the point of the video where I start getting lost and going to places that I shouldn't be. So, apologies. We'll just <laughs> randomly chat while Alex runs around in circles and gets annoyed at me controlling him. <laughs> well, in your defense, this place looks a bit too big for its own good. Yeah, there are, there's three floors to explore, and not the way is never straightforward. You can't just walk through a hallway. That's when the lift the lift broke, which is never good. Yeah, but seriously, why all, do any of these doors become unlocked at, at a certain point, or are they just there to confuse the hell out of you? Well, yeah. Well, the general way Silent Hill doors work is that. 80% of them will be locked, there'll be about 20% that will open that could lead you down multiple routes, but it's generally just a system to design, to let you know, this is where you need to go. <coughs> so, and some of the doors do become unlocked, like the door that was blasted down by cockroaches, and I'm pretty sure there are two nurses in a room later on that will open the door, but... Yeah. You see on the map there's like an entire floor we haven't gotten to yet? and mm -hmm. I, haven't, I haven't found the way to get up there. Wait, and as soon as I do, it'll be really obvious and stupid. Well, uh, again, in your defense, how do you see anything in here? It's... It's almost completely black and white. Yeah, c color doesn't seem to be this place's strong point. Except there. Except for that, the blood red all over the wall. Uh, yeah, so... This place just seems to be really big, and this segment seems to be really boring. Yeah, in, in terms of gameplay, this is one of the aspects where it sort of lags a little bit, and if you don't really know what you're doing, as I'm proving here, it can be quite annoying, and you sort of lose some of the game's momentum. It's like, you know, as you mentioned before in a previous recording, which didn't work, thank you Skype, um, <laughs> this sort of breaks the pace of the game where you just you knew where to go, what to do, and you were progressing with the story quite quickly, but here it's just a bit of a snag. Cause it's just, mm. you're having to go through all this trouble just to obtain one single key for a door. Yeah. <laughs> just... <sighs> There's just not much to say about this part. It's, it looks really boring, honestly. No, but as soon as progress is made, then everything will be dandy and brilliant. And then yeah. we will have things to say. I kind of like how uh, this game continuously points to how stupid Alex is, or have the, the fact that he has a tendency of saying really, really stupid things. Like, when he was looking at, at the elevator shaft, he's like, that's a long drop. No shit. In his defense, a lot of Silent Hill protagonists do tend to state the obvious when you examine something. But yeah, Alex has said more stupid things than most. And there, there's the way I need to go that I didn't know because I am a moron. Okay, you cannot call yourself a moron for not saying that. That 
it was off in some dis discreet little corner. Oh, cutscene. Josh, wait! Josh, oh wait, yeah, we were supposed to be finding him. <laughs> That's the reason we're in this. We've been looking for postcards so long, we've sort of forgotten the reason why. Yeah, we're here to find Josh, and then we go look for memories and a way to make the elevator work, and I've just forgot why the hell we're even here. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> yes. No, Alex, this is what comes out of the strange minds that make every Silent Hill game. And you're stuck in it. Congratulations, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> that thing sounds like an angry squirrel. Yeah, that's the name for these things. These are originally called the Needlers, but angry squirrels seem to be more appropriate, even though they're nothing like a squirrel, but still. They sound like one. Did you listen to that? Yeah, we're building up quite a lot of alternate names. We have Hello Nurse, Robert Pattinson, Angry Squirrel, and um, did we think of a name for the Smackers? I don't think we did. Other than, other than like making really making bad uh, uh smoking jokes about them. Well, that was ninja, Alex. That was awesome. Yeah. I'm not even sure how you did that. Sure. Well, I think what he did he was face down on the ground, right? So basically, he kicked back. He moved his like his the back part of his body forward and then used his arms to push back in like a different kind of like a worm motion. That I was, dance, I was thinking in terms of gameplay, but I understand your point. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> hey. Yeah. So after I managed to take and use another health drink after being owned due to my laggy defense controls, we shall move on. And we really do need to think of a name for the smokers because every monster we've encountered so far has a name, but they don't. Uh. We'll, we'll work on that. If, if anybody has a good, interesting name for the smokers, please put it in the comment section and we will look at them. We'll have a moment where we will pick the top ten best ones and then give shout outs to the ones who posted and we will pick one from those ten to become the smokers' names. Because I can't think of anything, so help us out, please. Yeah, we'll have a bit of a public debate from like 50 of you who might see this video, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's not about views, it's about the fun making it, so... <laughs> Cockroach death. I saw Carol creeping towards the main ballroom, and you know where that leads. No, I don't, but... Uh, More okay. evidence of unfaithfulness and all that jazz. Hmm. Which seems a bit tame in terms of drama compared to the stuff we've gone through already. Mm. Cheating is a minor misdemeanor considering everything we just went through. Yeah, I mean we've got murder and breaking entering and smashing apart equipment like this. Oh, another angry squirrel! Yay! Okay, somebody pissed off on me. And he mutated into... I don't know what. No, this is Squirrely Wrath personified. I still don't like where that the head of the thing is positioned, but we are now going to kill this thing. Like... <laughs> uh, the angry squirrel now dies. Oh, I like I like the way the blood splashes on screen after you perform a kill like that. It's very nice. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Dragon Age. After you get done uh, killing something, you're cut. The whole ca the characters who fought and actually cut them are covered in blood, and then the blood just pools out from your victims. It's very awesome. Alright, where is this? I can't breathe in here. Okay, but I'll the last postcard should be down through this hole. With yeah. barbed wire for some reason. Yeah. Also, as a little known fun fact, uh, Brian Bloom, Alex's voice actor, he... Voiced he voices some people in uh, Dragon Age as well as Cleaver from Jack Three and Bailey from Dead. Yeah, if you remember the first comms operator in the log you find. So yeah, he's been in other horror games besides this. Yeah, and I think we have to get going now. The video will be a little bit longer, but so and just enjoy it.